Situations can change, people can change. Be the first to seek to bring good. Do not grow accustomed to evil, but defeat it with good. No one can grow if he does not accept his smallness. God's image is the married couple, a man and woman, together. Not just the man, not just the woman. No, both of them, that's God's image. Where there is truth, there is also light, but don't confuse light with the flash. Life flows through our relations with others. If we start without confidence, we have already lost half the battle and we bury our talents. Whenever we encounter another person in love, we learn something new about God. Truth, according to the Christian faith, is God's love for us in Jesus Christ. Therefore, truth is a relationship. For me, it's clear we must redesign the economy so that it can offer every person access to a dignified existence while protecting and regenerating the natural world. We can get angry, it's even healthy, to get angry from time to time. The warmth of the family that grows, love that is not the love of a romance novel, it is true love being and love your whole life with all the problems there are, but being in love. If we are to come out of this crisis less selfish than we went in, we have to let ourselves be touched by others' pain. When man ceases to worship God, he does not worship nothing but worships everything. Let us sing as we go, may our struggles and our concern for this planet never take away the joy of our hope. We need to remember and remind ourselves where we come from, what we are, our nothingness. God never tires of forgiving us. We are the ones who tire of seeking his mercy. No single act of love will be lost. No generous effort is meaningless. No painful entrance is wasted, all of. These encircle our world like a vital force. All of us have in ourselves something of the wounded man, something of the robber, something of the passersby, and something of the good Samaritan. Sin is more than a stain, sin is a wand. It needs to be treated, healed. The place where my encounter with the mercy of Jesus takes place is my sin. We don't have to expect everything from those who govern us. That would be juvenile. Living together is an art. It's a patient art. It's a beautiful art. It's fascinating. This blessed place brings us back to our origins. We seem to have returned home. Certain truths in life can only be seen with eyes cleansed by tears. The church must be a place of mercy freely given, where everyone can feel welcomed, loved, forgiven, and encouraged to live the good life of the gospel. Our culture has lost its sense of God's tangible presence and activity in our world. It is not progressive to try to resolve problems by eliminating a human life. For if we destroy creation, creation will destroy us. God forgives not with a decree, but with a caress. Jesus to goes beyond the law and forgives by caressing the wounds of our sins. The language of the Spirit, the language of the Gospel, is the language of communion that invites us to get the better of closedness and indifference, division and antagonism. This is the struggle of every person, be free or be a slave. We learn that in our restlessness and frustration, 
in our fascination with new things and craving recognition and manic busyness, we had failed to pay attention to the suffering all around us. When no one is to blame, everyone is to blame. It cannot be maintained that empirical science provides a complete explanation of life, the interplay of all creatures, and the whole of reality. The truth is not grasped as a thing, the truth is encountered. It is not a possession, it is an encounter with a person. Corruption is the gangrene of a people. The media only writes about the sinners and the scandals, he said, but that's normal because a tree that falls makes more noise than a forest that grows. We gorged ourselves on networking and lost the taste of fraternity. Spreading the gospel means that we are the first to proclaim and live the reconciliation, forgiveness, peace, unity, and love that the Holy Spirit gives us. Once capital becomes an idol that presides over a socio-economic system, it enslaves us, sets us at odds with each other, excludes the poor, and endangers the planet we all share. You can, you must try to seek God in every human life. Although the life of a person is a land full of thorns and weeds, there is always a space in which the good seed can grow. You have to trust God. A crisis is almost always the result of a self-forgetting, and the way forward comes through recalling our roots. Truth is a relationship as such. Each one of us receives the truth and expresses it from within, that is to say, according to one's own circumstances, culture, and situation in life. Joy is the salt of the earth and the light of the world. It is the yeast that leavens society as a whole. We have only one heart, and the same wretchedness which leads us to mistreat an animal will not be long in showing itself in our relationships with other people. We must not focus on occupying the spaces where power is exercised, but rather on starting long-run historical processes. We must initiate processes rather than occupy spaces Indifference is dangerous, whether innocent or not.